Dear mother, like a crooked judge, these lips won't do justice to the sentences I'm about to give. But I stand before you today to testify that I, I'd never question your judgments, and I thank you for giving me life. 27 years of age, mom, and I can't even begin to fathom nor explain the feelings of pain you must have endured when you birthed me. But considering we were connected, I can only assume that's the reason I cried. And I apologize, I can't give back those hours that can easily be summed up into days that you spent changing your clothes because we couldn't afford diapers. And it's not even including the five times a day you metamorphosis into prayer dress, leaving glitters of content with each step, catching flight before you gracefully set your feet to lay your humility before God and then back into mother before reasoning can even distinguish between fantasy or reality. And my mind tried hard to counter transition between a mother and wife at an early age and I still can in my old age with hair receding like old times, but aren't you the one that said the gift wrap doesn't make the present mom? And the present's the God's gift to a few? Well, if that's the case, mom, God's greatest gift is you. And it's astonishing how Mateo wished this on your hit list and your daily choice didn't diminish your commitment. But I worry I've strange of all your patience. Left you dry like the month of months following my birth. Made you carry burdens on your shoulders heavier than the mountains of choice you took on daily. Humbled like deny you reject the notion but can't deny the evidence is written on your face and the way you walk. But you say those trail of wrinkles across your face are rivers that once carried your happiness because your face flooded with so much joy it couldn't accommodate your smile and that hesitation in your step. You call that an intricate yet necessary dance between a mother and her child, easy to learn, but hard to forget. I just wish that God gave me the gift to see your thoughts into colors so I could paint the perfect picture of what you always wanted me to be. But we both are not a visual artist, Mom, so accept these words in their place. And Mom, I will never place in a senior's home because I've seen your smile and it's my home. And my kids will learn everything you have taught me. Use my teachings as a map. But if they ever need a point of reference, they can come to you because you always have been and always will be my legend.